And I am Alec Boardman. I'm a senior from Millard South. What happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. And this poem is titled, I know my coaches are going to kill me because they want me to do the one about the dream, but you know, the one I practice, but I really want this to be heard. <laughs> I soaked in your love like the devil himself had drawn the bath. I only stepped in because the bubble smelled like heaven, but like bargain brand shampoo, when I tried to wash it off, it began to burn the skin. You came to me and I believed that you were holy. Every story you told about those who had wounded you, they became your scripture. I believed every hymn you sang was the cry of an angel. But most broken hallelujahs don't sing the false gods in you. You worshiped yourself. But I'm agnostic, though I was raised a Baptist, and somewhere in that transition, you made me a follower of your sketchy revelation, the way that you warped my mind and force-fed me lies in the form of midnight Skype calls, but my brain was too fuzzy to differ between the reality and the fantasy, rambling about how the world is against you, and you had done nothing to deserve this. And as you bragged about your victims, making yourself the hero, I fell right under your spell. You like to be thought of as Jesus. You say you're a man who saves the broken and nobody can recognize your work. But to me, you come off more like the serpent who gave you the apple snaking under my skin and crawling into my brain. You tempted me and forced it down my throat when you told me that nobody would believe me. I had said yes at first. You took from me my innocence so that I would love you religiously. You were forgiving God once, until I started to speak out and expose the church to the lies and the slander it was. Everything you had spat in my face was coming back to haunt you, and you couldn't handle that. Another voice adding to the chorus the souls you had crushed, and so just like all the ones before, you resorted to calling me Judas, a traitor, and you can twist the tale as much as you want. But I will always remember the way that you caused me to bleed, and with it painted yourself the victim for the bloodstained glass window stories of your church. I am not going to be a victim anymore. I will rise up and create a religion of my own, my followers converting to me because they live the scripture where you are their personal demon. So you can keep hiding behind stories only you can account for. Sooner or later, the truth will shine through.